Hi, I just got this Etchell's sailboat and the first thing I need to do is modify the trailer. As you'll note, the boat is on the trailer backwards from most boats. Also, the way the supports are set up on it is not very conducive to launching it from a ramp. It looks like it's meant for launching with a crane, which I don't have at the lake I'm going to be sailing. So I'm going to modify this. I'm going to cut off all that superstructure and replace it with more traditional sailboat hardware so it can be launched and retrieved from a ramp. Okay, we just completely rebuilt the trailer. We're gonna roll it out so we can take some pictures. Here we go, what we did to this trailer. First off, as you saw in the other pictures, uh, this used to be on the trailer backwards. It had the bow sticking out the back. And plus it had heavy supports across the back and front uh, that prevented it from launching off a ramp like typical. Now here, over here, here's some of the, that is uh, a piece of heavy metal, this black part is what was across the back of the trailer. We cut that off. There's also uh, similar things on the front. So what we did, we took, we pulled this in nose first, lifted the tra uh, boat off the trailer, pushed the trailer out backwards, and uh, turned it around, brought it back in, set the boat on the trailer. That's after we cut the all the superstructure off. First thing we did after that was we installed eight of the jack pads with all the cross brazing uh, those are set up so that we can drop two of the front and two of the back at a time and do boat maintenance bottom maintenance while it's on the trailer it, uh, so you don't have to lift out of the trailer anymore down here at the bottom the keel has got such a low tolerance side to side that we installed these keel guides and if you look at these keel guides from the front they've got an inch of spacing on either side so that that keel will drop right down in to the support like it's supposed to in order to help hit that narrow keel guide we came back here and we put the V back here and this will help but that V is going to be a long ways underwater when you're launching this boat and so will these pads up here so in order to be able to see the trailer and line up with that keel guide while it's underwater, we added these uh, hull guides on the side. These hulls, hull guides, the pads, uh, distance between them is one inch wider on each side, uh, one inch wider than the widest part of the boat. So that'll line it right up with this keel guide and just slide right in there. Trying to make this uh, trailer foolproof. Uh, too many of these deep keel boats are very difficult to put on the trailer. Another trouble we had is the hitch ball, the coupler used to be right here. And uh, if you look up, the bow was then sticking 32 inches past the hitch ball. With my pickup, that would work, but it made it a little dicey. Didn't like that. Plus, I couldn't uh, put a bow stop on there. 
So this rusty beam here will have to sandblast it. This is a new tongue extension. Extended the tongue an additional six feet, I think it was. Then we put this bow stop up here so that uh, you know where to stop putting it on the trailer. So that's all set up. We have welded the hitch coupler on there and welded the uh, tongue jack on there. So again, the idea is to make this foolproof when loading the boat onto the trailer because it's going to be a long ways underwater. So anyway, there we go.